to an interview you'll only see on Local 10 News. The so-called Don't Say Gay bill became law today, and Local 10's Christian De La, uh, De La Rosa spoke with a gay teacher who fears for herself and her gay students. Christian is live down with Pembroke Pines for the exclusive for us today. Christian. And Calvin, this teacher really speaks for many other educators we've heard from who are very concerned with what they say is very broad language in this new law that could get them in legal trouble if they happen to be misinterpreted, especially if they're gay. I always wonder about the intention of this law. Miami-Dade County teacher Miriam Torres initially asked us to hide her identity, but changed her mind in order to put a human face on her fear. I do feel that it will embolden some to, to say, you know, um, to silence us and as you know, it sounds cliche to push us back into the closet. The parental rights and education law dubbed by critics as don't say gay is now officially in effect. It bans instruction about sexual orientation or gender identity in kindergarten through third grade. Proponents like Governor Ron DeSantis have stressed it's about giving parents more power over their young children's education. I think that the wording is vague. But teachers like Torres say they worry it could expose them legally. I teach reading and language arts. I teach about the Holocaust. I teach about civil rights. And then now maybe those conversations will be, you know, we won't be able to have them. And, and I worry about that. I do as an educator. But her biggest worry are her students, especially those who struggle like she once did. Young kids that are going through a lot and, and maybe don't feel accepted at home or uh, don't even understand what's happening to them. And sometimes they, they think there's something wrong with them. And now we're going to silence them and, and into or, or make them feel some sort of shame. Torres also tells us she has never really been concerned over her safety. She is now. She also says she's standing by for guidance from the school district as to how to navigate instruction in light of this new law. A spokesperson for the district telling us they're working on it. Live in Pembroke Pines, I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. Christian, thank you.